A Czech delegation arrives in Taiwan on Saturday. How significant is this visit? This delegation is a strong sign that Czechia seeks to position itself at the very forefront of European efforts to develop informal, albeit substantive, relations with Taiwan. It's one of the largest delegations from uh, Europe in general to come to Taiwan in its uh, modern history. The delegation is led by Marketa Pekarova Adamova, the Speaker of the Chamber of Deputies of the Parliament of the Czech Republic. But the meaning of the delegation goes beyond just exchanges between members of parliament. Among the delegation are representatives of the business sector, but notably also of several government agencies, including the National Cybersecurity Agency of the Czech Republic. This really goes to show that uh, Czechia has a very pragmatic attitude to developing its ties with Taiwan and looks forward to connecting officials on the working level in both governments. Why does the Czech Republic or Czechia want to develop relations with Taiwan? I think that there are two dimensions behind the momentum in taiwan czechia relations, which is manifesting itself in the upcoming delegation. The first is normative. The, one of the key political leaders of modern Czechia, uh, often referred to as the father of Czech democracy, Václav Havel, was a leader very friendly towards the Taiwanese cause. And uh, the current government and also uh, the recently elected president, Petr Pavel, speak uh, openly about their desire to continue implementing the legacy of Václav Havel in their foreign policy. But then there are also pragmatic considerations. Taiwan has already proven itself to be one of the biggest investors in Czechia, creating uh, multiple jobs through its investments. Uh, a hope of the incoming delegation that this economic cooperation can not only continue, but actually grow.